Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We remain at war with Britain, and frankly, at this point, we are winning fairly crushingly. We've taken Newfoundland and Jamaica, and we are continuing our effort to eject them from North America entirely. Oh no, S4 has vanished on patrol. That means I'm going to have to build another submarine because we don't have enough to continue research now, I think. Let's build a long-range submarine just to be fancy. S5. Great naming scheme, guys. Okay, does Britain have anything in the... No, they really don't. They've pretty much pulled all their forces out of anywhere bordering me. I think they're basically conceding the war at this point. Wow, not even in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Looks like Britain has pretty much pulled everything back to... Back to Northern Europe. That last defeat was officially... Officially too much for them, I guess. They are down to a total of... Four battleships, two battle cruisers, of which... One is interned, and actually their best one is interned. Yeah, the hoods are better than the Albions, slightly. Uh, yes, there will be a new invasion target. It will be Trinidad. <laughs> and once we've taken that, the East will be entirely secure. We are still fighting in Jamaica, but I don't exactly expect it'll take that long to crush their resistance at this point. We should spend money on something, but I don't even know what. You know what? The Illinois class could probably use a good refit, couldn't it? Eh, they do have dual-purpose guns. Oh, and they have electro-optical directors. Okay, no. The Pennsylvania class mostly have electro-optical directors, but Pennsylvania herself got looked over somehow, so let's rebuild her. The Constellations are on a 1928 rebuild, so I'm going to go ahead and say they could... Well, they're all in Southeast Asia, though. Um, how about Congress? No, doesn't have dual-purpose guns, doesn't have an electro-optical director, doesn't even have a third fire control position. It has a strict radar limit. Okay. There's a little modernization program. That'll do for now. Action with... Oh, hey, Britain's moved all their forces back into the Caribbean all of a sudden. Time to celebrate with a 67,000 ton battleship design, says Promain. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Post-war, I could see us designing a, you know, magnificent tur. <laughs> What the hell is this? Three destroyers? Okay. It did say action with light forces, I guess, but um, this is a little much. A little on the sad side. Well, we're going to chase down whatever that radar contact is. Okay, there's multiple. Not that surprising in itself. I'm going to turn immediately because we're probably getting torpedoed. Okay, actually, it looks like we disabled... Don't believe that that's a CA. Do believe that we just sank it with a torpedo. So that is an outstanding start to this little skirmish. Um, if there's three British destroyers, we just took two of them out already. So that's kind of a win. I 
I don't even really know what this one's doing. Just hanging around her crippled sisters, maybe. No, don't shoot that one. Shoot that one. Come on, guys. Okay. Oh. Huh. Apparently that was a Tom Roper class seaplane carrier that we just stumbled upon and not a destroyer at all. If these aren't destroyers, that would kind of explain how we just slaughtered them so thoroughly, to be honest. Okay, do we wanna do we wanna shoot this one, guys? You didn't have any problem blind firing at the other two, but this one this one, no. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So apparently, the good ship's USS Jarvis, Aylwin, and Beale just stumbled upon the destroyers HMS Druid and Lennox, and the eight aircraft seaplane carrier Tom Roper, and just absolutely flattened them with no damage worth a damn sustained in return. Apparently Jarvis was hit by a single 5-inch shell, and that is literally it. So, well done, guys. Condenser trouble. Alright, electronic fire control, better heavy A. Ah, ejection seat. Decreased loss of squadron experience when an aircraft is destroyed. However, we've lost patrol boat number 11, which will doubtless cripple the fleet. And trim in turn. They have put everything into uh, rating, apparently, which gives them a grand total of 90 victory points. I'm sure that'll close their 24,000 point gap any time now. Alright, so we have the invasion planned for Trinidad. I should make sure um, we have more ships that have come out of dry dock on the east coast. I should send them all down into the Caribbean just to be safe. Along with some extra destroyers. Because Britain does have pretty much their whole force back in the Caribbean now. Including a lot of carriers. Tension with Russia is a bit high. However, Russia barely has a fleet still. So, well, they do have a pile of cruisers. The AI is building cruisers like just madmen, all of them. But they have almost no capital ships, so... At this point, if a war were to break out, we could still just win it. Carrier battle. Okay, well. Now's our chance to try to finally get a decisive... Ooh, boy. That's... No. Okay, never mind. No carrier battle. Cruiser action. Due to... Error in set force position. Instead, we have USS Amsterdam at San Juan. And a few escorting destroyers. And there is... A nice little British. Problems with temperamental engines. Unbelievable. Now is not the time. <laughs> but Cheesy says, Hey, I turned on their hacks to squirt out of that carrier battle. Sounds about right, yeah. Although that's the only place they still have a real fighting chance, so I don't know. Okay, we need to turn. We're definitely going to get torpedoed. Although, turn again. I 
think we just killed three destroyers. Which probably means whatever that cruiser is, is unescorted now. So we're just going to chase it down and finish it off. It's about to be daylight, I think. Pretty close. <laughs> Promain wants to know why the first radar contact is always allegedly a carrier. And is the radar operator just sitting there, begging for it to be this time? <laughs> I assume that's the canonical answer. Okay, I think we just... If there was one more destroyer, I think we just killed it. So that's going to be a light cruiser, and that's going to be probably the only British ship still afloat. It must be said that British Light Forces have a great success rate against our... My god, the pile of 6-inch hits. I know the range is only 4,000 yards, but still. Um, yeah, I know... Um, oh, whoa, reinforcements. Okay. Wait. Is this U.S. Cruiser Division 5, or is it British ships? We'll find out in a second. <laughs> If it's U.S. Cruiser Division 5, it's just overkill. It is, too. All right. Well, guys, you're just in time to watch this cruiser sink. The Canada class is getting a little outdated. Good point. <laughs> Their names don't make sense anymore. Uh, so we sank the destroyers the Louis Zulu Viking and the light cruiser Cordelia with just a barrage of 6-inch gunfire and basically, for all intents and purposes, took no damage whatsoever. <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah. Battle of the Airy Islands. I can't imagine that Britain will stay in this war very much longer. They're just in... They're just getting... Demolished in every fight at this point. You mean our forces are fighting valiantly in Jamaica? Oh, we've lost the destroyer Truxton to a mine. Britain's lost the destroyer Owl to a mine. Two Austrian and three Italian destroyers have been sunk. We've lost another submarine to a... Uh, issue while on patrol. I'm going to build another... Identically named... Oh. Uh, for reasons of tradition, I'm naming this submarine S5, so that they're still all named the exact same thing. Alright. Yeah, I can't think Britain's going to stay in this war for much longer. They had a much superior light cruiser... For, well... They had more light cruisers than us when this war started, and they have at this point been hit just as badly as their battleships have. They're down to only, what? One champion, one conquest, one Canada. Yeah. And that Canada was finished, like, this month. So. Ooh, and their follow-on class is only 5,300 tons, which means they're going to be terrible. They still got a piles and piles of heavy cruisers, but I haven't even seen those in the skirmishes recently much. I mean, we have our Charlotte class, which are probably a match for any of their heavy cruisers, but I uh, haven't really even seen them show up. Action with light forces. They don't stop accepting the battles, though. We haven't knocked them to that point. Yeah. Their carriers are definitely the largest force left. Oh my god, it's just two destroyers again. Three. Hold Chauncey and Flusser this time. Their carriers are definitely the biggest threat left, but we haven't been in a battle with them in a uh, fairly good while at this point. I mean, there was almost one, but uh, aborted, of course. Well... 
it's broad daylight, so this is, relatively speaking, probably where I feel best about our destroyer's chances. Because we definitely have heavier average gunnery than them, which probably means... Maybe they did run out of carrier-trained pilots. Doesn't really happen in the game, but... At least as far as I know, but, uh... They have lost an outstanding number of aircraft to my combat air patrols um, in most of the carrier battles we've had. Like, I do think in most of them their carriers have gone home almost undamaged, but with hardly any aircraft left. Okay, one of them is getting isolated from the rest. We're going to go after that one. I don't know what's wrong with it, but... Got to pick off the loner first. It's clearly on fire, so. Oh, darkness. Hmm. Alright, as long as we don't get torpedoed, I'm pretty sure she's dead. Alright, that's probably enough torpedoes to do the job. <laughs> Only hit with one still. British do also have blind fire radar, because they are firing back, but I think we have better radar than them by, like, a generation or two. It is one of the U.S.'s officially listed um, tech advantages. Oh, damn. Radar doesn't have much to do with that, but that's just unfortunate. I wonder if there's a chance she survives, actually. It's not that bad of a hit. Hole, why not you, um... Try to go home. Good luck. Um, okay, I've totally lost... Oh, hell, it's just, are they up there? Okay, hold is going in circles. Maybe she took the torpedo to the rudder? Oh, she's sinking. Damn. Well, one destroyer for one, maybe. Oh, wait, there they are. Alright, we've still got a chance to take out the other two. Or just get torpedoed ourselves. They could have enough budget problems that they might struggle to fill their giant carriers, theoretically. Whoa, hi. Hello there. Um, well, they landed the first hits, but I'm pretty sure we did get the better of that gunnery exchange. Whoa. Range 583 yards. Okay. That might be too close. That might be too close to worry about torpedoes. I'm not sure they really arm in that kind of time in game. Okay, we're surrounded. That one's disabled. Missed horribly with the torpedoes against a disabled target, but, uh, where'd the other one go? Hmm. No idea, and you'd think she'd show up on radar still. Maybe she sank spectacularly or something, but, uh, yeah, I don't know where she went. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Hi. Again. Is our radar not working properly today? You're, uh... Whatever, let's, um... I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it's destroyer-mounted radar against other destroyers, but... Okay. Well, we did win in the end. I mean, we lost, um... 
Lost the destroyer USS Hull, but we've sunk the destroyers HMS Acorn, Legion, and Crane, which is the lead ship for class, actually. So another minor victory, just uh, put Jay-Z believes that I should hit the British destroyer with a banjo, and that'll surely finish it off. Finish her off, that is. Okay, our reconstruction programs are coming through. We are struggling with improved electro-optical director, but we do have auto-loading 6-inch guns. And the electro-boat for submarine effectiveness. And we sank a British submarine. Good job, USS Burroughs. Okay, we're making a monthly profit again. Next light cruiser to be a Worcester class suggests proing. Well, Britain doesn't have any light cruisers, so they won't be having a Worcester class. Not anymore. Okay, we're only two months away from commissioning USS Rangers. So that's good. We could probably use even more carriers, because let's be realistic, we are heading the... Um... Oh, that was when the U.S. actually put 6-inch autoloaders on. I see, yeah. If I still have money at the end of the month, I'm doing things bad, says Hoffman. Objectively, he's right. I should be losing money at this point. But uh, we're at war, and I always find it weird laying down whole new classes while we're at war. But you're right, it's probably time to think about what we're going to need post-war. Objectively, if the war ends, you know, even if it ends in a couple months, what we're probably going to need post-war is more, you know, giant aircraft carriers. But, uh... It's very tempting to also build a nice, you know, final class of 70,000 ton battleships. We can afford to probably save a little money still. We do need a light cruiser replacement or three, don't we? We had 12 when this war started, I think. The Cincinnati class is... Uh, no. Acquitted itself very, very well, so I wouldn't feel too bad about building... Well, no, actually, we just saw 6-inch autoloaders exist, though, so I would feel bad about building another Cincinnati. Maybe that's the thing to design, though. Cincinnati has 12 6-inch guns, 8 4-inch dual-purpose guns. It makes 32 knots, plus 6 above-water torpedo tubes. This... Is not better, because it has 5-inch guns. Why the hell does it have 5-inch guns? Okay, I'm taking off the wing turrets. Thank you very much. The extra superimposed turrets might be alright. If we were building a really big cruiser. Should have at least basic torpedo defense. Hmm. We could just abandon the 4-inch guns and go for 18 auto-loading 6-inch guns. Oh, these are all twin turrets. Can I? No, I can't. didn't think I could. They can't be dual-purpose, though, so... We 
This would only be 10,600 tons. That's an absolutely mad amount of firepower for a light cruiser. It's got the torpedoes on it. It's got mines. I don't really mess with mines usually, but... Let's get it at the best possible radar limit. Let's get the third fire control position. Could be a knot faster. Probably could. <laughs> if I wanted to weigh an extra thousand tons, it could be. It's also tempting to keep some sort of secondary armament just because it would need to be dual purpose, but that adds... To be fair, it doesn't add anywhere near as much weight as bringing it to 33 knots does. So this amounts to 11,900 tons. The secondary guns aren't on the ship. There we go. Um, this isn't too shabby. I mean, it has 18 6-inch guns auto-loading. Electro-optical director. I'm fairly sure it will... Oh, yeah. Fairly sure it will shred... <laughs> fairly sure it will shred absolutely any light cruiser that exists in the world right now. I mean, now it becomes heavy enough that I want to put more torpedo defense on, but that makes it even heavier, so screw it. Yes, exactly. Daka Daka. <laughs> All right. Oh, overgunned. Unbelievable. How could this happen? Hmm. That's an annoying penalty. I feel like we'll just have to take one of the turrets off and settle for... I think if I, um... I think if I made them twin turrets instead, they would, uh... All right, let's experiment. What's the, um... What's the... 16, apparently. Or is it 17? 16. 16 is the number of guns you could have before it apparently becomes overgunned in the view of the game. All right, fair enough. I can save weight. 500 tons off. 16 6 inch guns auto loading. Still pretty respectable. Oh, AA? Yeah, it is a little, um, slightly less than. Optimal. Alright, there we go. Do I want to have so many mines on here? I feel like I should take the mines off. Then again, there's not much else I can put in that weight, really, so... More ammo, but these come with 230 rounds per gun, albeit... They are auto-loaders, so... <laughs> they help burn through that pretty fast. doesn't help to just have a little bit of reserve buoyancy in the future proofing, so. Okay. I'm pretty alright with this class. We'll lay down about, I don't know, 
three of those to replace war losses to start with. Oh, what's wrong with the red turret visible? Uh, I'll look at it in three months. It was in the wrong place, right? Oh, yes, I see. I don't really know how to fix the red turret visible. Sometimes you can click on them and move them, but... Uh... Oh, here we go. Which one's in the wrong place? This one? Kind of looks better that way. I have to fix it properly when it... Um... <laughs> finished designing, I think, though. Which is kind of pointless. Oh, boy, a carrier battle. Hopefully the positions actually generate properly this time. Now, what's the matter with this? Hmm. It's only in carrier battles. Odd glitch. I've had them before, too. I mean, I've had the glitch before, but I've also had carrier battles before, so I don't know what's going on there. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.